credit for not getting you guys in the right play early on. I mean, did you see that out of him? Did you see him kind of struggle in that area as well? Uh, not really. <clears throat> yeah, there may have been one that just got in his craw or something like that. Uh, but uh, I don't think that was an issue as much as just uh, we just weren't we weren't accurate. A couple times we made, or at least one time I know we made a, a poor decision. I'm the one that almost got picked or should have got picked. <clears throat> just a bad bad decision right there. But uh, I mean, it's going to happen. I mean, every quarterback in America has those issues, and uh, you just got to minimize them and uh, and hopefully learn from them without taking one on the chin. Well, Mark, was the uh, was the targeting call legit, and uh, how did the team react? Uh, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I didn't see the replay. So I don't know. Okay. I don't know about the target. How do you see the, the Did team? you see it? What did you think? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was, yeah, it Legit. came up on your chin. Did it? Yeah. So I don't know. And I, it, it happened in the first half, right? Yeah. So I think he's free to play okay. uh, starting next week, yeah, which, is, which is good. Malcolm Mitchell was saying he thinks the team was sort of beating themselves today. Would you agree? And how do you feel like that shows your team's resilience that – he didn't let that happen. Well, we're all perfectionists. We all want to do do it just right. We know when we don't, it, it bothers us, everybody. Um, and uh, you know, I talked to the team after the game and just said we've all got to look within ourselves and say, what did I do that I could have done better? And uh, everybody's got to do that. We, I mean, we're in a business of correction. We're in a business of watching the film and critiquing what we do and being gut level honest about what we see and, and, and make it better. And uh, and that's what football is all about. So uh, we'll have a good hard look at the tape. We'll have a good hard look at our strategies and uh, make sure we're doing the right thing. And, um, and our players, I'm sure, will look within themselves too to see what they what they could do better as well. But you know, I mean, obviously when there were some momentum shifts and some things that uh, looked ominous there for a minute, uh, we could have folded, you know, but we didn't. And that, that's a good sign, too. McKenzie didn't play last week. Did you expect him to have the impact that he had on the return game? Or kind of we, we do. We, we see him. Uh, when he gets the ball in his hand, there's a good shot at him getting a lot of yards, if not a touchdown. And, um, you know, last week he was coming off of a hamstring injury. That's why we didn't really use him much. Uh, tempted to use him last week, but just kind of held off. and. And part of it was the amount of reps that he had gotten up until that game. And you know, we had, we had twin safeties, uh, you know, last week in the punting game. There's a lot of communication between the two safeties. He didn't get a lot of that work. So we decided not to use him. But this week we went single safety on the punt, and, and he was the guy. Uh, you know, um, Davis, uh, number 81, he, he, when we go punt safe, we're down there, you know, He's on the 10-yard line with his heels on the 10. He's the one making decisions on whether a fair catch or let it go. But Isaiah's there when we're going to return it or, or block the punt. Well, it seems like y'all with special teams is something y'all can really lean on in a big way. I mean, today's yeah, we did some really good things on specials. You know, I mean, Marshall had, missed a couple, but other yeah, I mean, and Marshall, that guy, I got a lot of faith in him. He's a very talented kid, and, and he's kicking the ball well. Um, so, I, you know, it's hard to say when you miss kicks, but. <clears throat> You can when you start duck hooking them and you start just really uh, pulling it and all that kind of thing, then you get nervous. But right now, he's he's striking the ball pretty good. What do you make of this the madness of playing up here? I mean, you've had some really crazy things happen in games up here. What what do you make of that? <coughs> I don't know. I, I think Vanderbilt's a good football team. I think they're very uh, they're tough to play at home, and uh, we just haven't been able to finish it very often. And we had you know one game out of the last. Five times we were here, maybe that we we didn't have drama. But we've had drama here just about every other time. It's been a lot made about Leonard and his positional versatility, but you know Jordan Jenkins was moving moved all up and down off the line today. How much does his you know positional versatility sort of help on that defense? What they can do? Well, Jordan Jordan is pretty much an outside guy. I mean, he's either an edge rusher or he's playing outside linebacker. Uh, it, we do put him inside here and here and there to get him on the guard. And some of our pass rush stuff, um, but you know Leonard's the one that has played inside, has played outside, has played <clears throat> just a pure rush guy. He's played the nickel. Uh, you know, Leonard's the one who's played the most. But uh, Jordan obviously was very productive, and I'm just glad to see our seniors do that. Did Jake have the best catch of the day? 
It must have been. I missed it. But Chuck Dowell said it was beautiful, so <laughs> I trust him. But uh, he must have made a great play. Coach, you had a lot of those home fans behind you, but this was a road game. It's Brian Schottenheimer's first game on the road. I mean, how do you feel about the game that he called and yeah. how he went about it? Oh, I think he he called a, a game that was just fine. We just got we got to execute a few things a little bit better at times. And uh, <clears throat> some of the things, if there was any kind of uh, – just like the decision to run the ball three times deep in our territory and not throw it, that was my decision. He, he was, you know, honoring what I wanted to get done at that time. I was trying to chew up as many timeouts as possible and, and hopefully knock it out of there. But um, so some of those things uh, had to do with me. Some, some even towards the end, we we're trying to uh, <clears throat> use as much clock as possible. Uh, you know, huddle instead of going no huddles. You know, a lot of those were my calls.